Hello everybody! Tutaltina here, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. You know this is where I love, love to live. Uh, I have to warn you now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this out there. This video goes fast. <laughs> uh, so I think that I ended up with like seven and a half hours of footage just for this one penthouse. Yeah, I cut as much as I possibly could without like completely destroying everything. Uh, and but I still had to speed it up quite a bit and I wanted to make it one video So even though this video is just like a tad bit longer uh, I, I, I really felt like it needed to be all one video because it's amazing and I didn't want you to have to wait for any other part of the video because this penthouse turns out perfect perfect I know like I just talked about this last week how I always say like, oh, I would move in tomorrow. I love it so much. Literally, literally, as soon as I finished building it, I moved my sim self and my husband's sim selves, the ones that I made for the, my anniversary video a few weeks ago. And I moved them into this penthouse because I love it that much. And like they immediately made themselves at home and were like grilling on one of the patios, no big deal. Like. It's amazing. Uh, so uh, here I am already working on the kitchen. Like I said, this goes fast. <laughs> um, and I like started to place the cabinets and then I cut out where I was like moving things around a million times because I couldn't decide on the layout that I wanted. So I sort of cut that out so that you really just sort of see like the decorating and the serious amount of clutter. like. That's what those seven and a half hours were, were, was me placing clutter forever and going through debug forever. I must have gone through debug like 20 times, completely through it and found new things. You wait, you see, there's so many things that I didn't know existed that are now in this build. <laughs> and I loved it. So I used these dividers from Get Famous. Uh, because I really wanted to add like a little bit of like gold tones to this build and I also use a lot of Journey to Batu. I know, I know how people feel about Journey to Batu, but some of these build pieces were perfect for an industrial eclectic build. Like, they look wonderful. That light? Beautiful. I love it. I think that it turns out so cool. Uh, so I imagined, I originally, when I opened the game, I was like, oh, I'm gonna build a little apartment for a plant parent. We see how well that went. My little apartment turned into a two bedroom, two bath penthouse with three balconies. Three. It's insane. But, uh, so you can see right behind the kitchen there, I do separate off where the elevator is. Like I know in a penthouse, normally the elevator would just be for the penthouse. But I imagine that that's also how they get to like maintenance. So there's a staircase that leads up to roof access and I do decorate it with like AC units and stuff. It's cute, you'll see, we'll get there. But uh, I thought that was just like a creative weird touch realism I guess because this this penthouse is so realistic so far let me tell you uh, but so I had a lot of fun trying to come up with like different things for this kitchen things that I don't normally do so for like the coffee pot and the microwave those are actually placed on different counter pieces that I shrunk down so that I could place them at the angles that I wanted them while still being able to use them. So like the coffee pot is still functional and I love placing this little sign behind it. Originally I did a little coffee one with the, the heart over it, but I do change it for an even cuter poster. Listen, <laughs> this little poster that has the eggs and the toast with the smiley faces is so cute. It's adorable. <laughs> 
And then like I don't capture it on film, but you'll see in the screenshots where later on I find a little sign that's like a little circle with a shopping basket and like a uh, line through it. So like a, a no shopping sign. And I put it on the fridge. I think <laughs> this kitchen is so cute. Oh, and then like for five seconds, I thought about putting a dining room here and I decide against it and I start going through and finding all of the bookcases. I didn't include that footage because I literally pulled out every single bookcase from the game to create this wall of bookcases. Because I also imagine that the people who lived here were like extremely eclectic and they were just the kind of people who went to like thrift shops and you know Goodwill and Salvation Army and curbside and just found whatever and put it in this house, a penthouse. <laughs> and so I didn't include placing all of them, but I did, it did include cluttering it all up with all of the plants and all of the books and books and plants and books and plants and books and plants and books and plants. And books and plants. What? That is the first time that I've been able to do that on face cam. Listen, books and plants and books and plants and books and plants. That's what you were missing out on when I used to do that all the time, like months ago before I started doing face cam, I'm so sorry that you missed out on it because you deserve the books and plants and books and plants and books and plants and books and plants. What? Yeah. <laughs> yes, so uh, the idea for like the more industrial idea for this build really came from that one light piece that looks like the, like the grill and the headlights. And I was like, oh, this is really neat, really cool. How often do we, I actually get the chance to use it? So I was like, the people who live here, they love, they love stuff like this. Like this one light perfectly suits them. And uh, so I definitely lean heavily into that, like the industrial side where like there's street signs and like shop signs. And I, I think, I, is there a traffic cone in this build? I don't think I included a traffic cone, but I almost did. Um, so that wall that you see where the TV is mounted, I do eventually, not on camera, move that back so that it lines up perfectly with the half wall that the kitchen counters are against. Um, so it does make the living room just a tidbit, a tad, a tidbit, a tad bit bigger. <laughs> and I mean, this penthouse is huge. Three balconies. It's huge, people. <laughs> but I really love it. I love it so much. I love the green tones. I love the, the gold tones. I love the, the warm, warm wood tones. <laughs> and I love like the exposed brick. I love it. I, th I would literally move in. I moved in my sim selves. I would actually live here. Wait, it gets better. It gets better. Just trust me. So uh, I start decorating this little office area and I pulled out like all of like the degrees and everything because I sort of imagine that there would be like a, maybe like a professor or somebody who's really well read who lives here, who loves books and plants and books and plants and books and plants. But I know, I know. I just like hit my desk. Sorry about that. I know how much professors make on average in this country it's not they would not be able to afford to live here professors have to go to school for the same amount of time as doctors i don't do lawyers even go to school for eight years i don't know but they go to school to get those letters behind their name that phd in blah 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 to not make that much money educators of this world are so underappreciated we are the they are the future they are the future and they are underappreciated that welcome to thank you for coming to my TED talk anyways so I did close off this area here originally I was just gonna put like a guest bathroom but then I there was so much space because it's huge huge penthouse uh, that I decided to go ahead and add a guest bedroom as well and I love the way this entryway turns out. I don't include the footage, but I put like a whole like awning and everything over the top of the door. It's so cute. I love it. Uh-huh. And I didn't include the footage for the guest bathroom, even though 
That turns out amazing. Not to toot my own horn, but I do a smashing job at bathrooms. Uh, so we start working on this guest bedroom and I tried not to clutter it up as much as the rest so that it's sort of a peaceful place and I do put a bunch of these postcards against this wall because I imagine that these postcards probably come from the people who would come and visit. So like friends and family who travel and stuff and I feel like they would find it really cute like coming to stay with the people who live here and they're like oh I remember when I sent them that that's cool I don't know <laughs> that's where my mind was when I was decorating this bedroom and I think the whole thing turns out really cozy I loved using those shop signs everywhere in this build I use the shop signs so much uh, I'm pretty sure I use at least one of every single one really other than like very few plants and some debug items, I don't think I repeat items basically at all. <laughs> so like I only use the shop signs once, all of the clutter items I only use once, all of like the paintings and stuff that I use I only use once and then most of the plants I, I know I use at least like that one that's like the two shelves, the two tiers from Seasons, I do use that one. I think three times and that's the most often used item in this build because <laughs> I use it once in the kitchen once in the entryway and then once in the greenhouse because there's a greenhouse they're plant parents they love books and plants and books and plants and books and plants and books and plants so of course there's a greenhouse uh, so I'm now working on the first balcony because there's three the first balcony and I just created like this little outdoor kitchen with the uh, cabinets and, and the bar and the grill from Perfect Patio because they're beautiful and then I also create this little like tiny garden area and right now it does have a bird bath in it but I do eventually switch that out for a more like industrial sculpture it's like the weird globy one with the arrow through it you'll see you'll see we'll get there but uh, so you guys, you guys probably know, Fanta Sims, uh, amazing. If you've never watched her videos, you absolutely should. I will try to remember to link up here, uh, the video specifically where she does a tutorial on how to create living gardens. And what she means by that is, um, the gardens have like insects. So there's like butterflies and bees and dragonflies and fireflies or like if you want to use like mythological ones there's like a dragon dragonfly. It's super cute. But so all you have to do, really easy, if you have outdoor retreat there's like these little like bug net things you know, that you would catch butterflies and you'd put them in so that you can keep them and see them and stuff. And those, so there's a bunch of them for all the different insects. And so all you have to do is take this one item and when you shrink it down using your bracket keys, uh, the container gets smaller, but the insects stay the same size. So you can take those containers and place them inside your bushes and just like raise them up enough so that you can like just barely not see it underneath the plants. And then your garden has butterflies. <laughs> I think it's so cute so I will definitely try to remember to link her up here and at least in my description as well because it was a fantastic tutorial and extremely helpful uh, so I'm just going through now and I'm trying to add some of that like eclectic industrialness to this outdoor area with like you know the hanging lights and like the gnomes I love the gnomes the one that like pushes his mustache up and then the one in the bear costume those are my favorite uh, and then I also add a lawn flamingo out here. Fun fact, a really awesome thing that I learned while making this build. If you go, if you've got your debug activated, you know, control shift C to open up the cheat menu, bb.show hidden objects and bb.show live edit objects to open up your debug, uh, you can use the search bar. And if you type in lawn flamingo, it does not take you to lawn flamingos. Do you know what it takes you to? Those little patches of grass that I'm pretty sure are like normally in Oasis Springs. You can kind of see them in the background right now and I'm about to place one and I'll be able to be like that thing, that thing right there. If you type in lawn flamingo, it literally takes you immediately to those items. 
I'm literally about to place it like right now. That thing. Yeah, so <laughs> if you type in Lawn Flamingo, it takes you right there. Boom! You got it. Quick and easy cheat. So I did not include all of the footage from decorating this greenhouse because it was a lot of placing plants. So <laughs> I do think that it turns out super cute. And I did place in like a bunch of items, like the uh, the big thing from Eco Lifestyle that has like all of the lettuce and everything. And then another really cool thing that I found in Debug that I did not know existed, uh, there's a sign. The picture for it in Debug shows the back of the sign. So like you've got like a post and then like the sign and this is all you see. Well, if you turn that around, it's a little sign with a tomato on it. It's so cute. I didn't know it existed. Who knew? Who knew? Because the picture for it is terrible and super useful. Super useful. Also, can we just talk for like five seconds about I placed another one of those little lawn thingies. Lawn flamingo, grass thing. And then I put a fire hydrant on it. This penthouse is Puppy friendly, people! Listen, no more, no more will I have to take my dog down an elevator outside to try to find a patch of grass on a city street. I built a puppy piddle area. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I love this build so much. <laughs> like, I hope that you can like see it in my face and hear it in my voice how much I love this build. <laughs> so I did I did struggle a little bit with this outside area because it's huge. Huge. Uh, the whole the whole build is huge really. But for like five seconds I thought about putting like a pool out here because you are able to put a pool out here. But how rude. How rude would that be? Like Technically the rest of this building is not like a livable area. You can't build on any of the other floors uh, But there's got to be People who live down there, right? Like it looks like an apartment from the outside of the shell of this building. So Who would I be to try to place a pool out there a rude person? So uh, so we are now working on that little maintenance area. I think it turns out cute Just that little like touch of realism because, you know, having a puppy piddle area and a greenhouse on a balcony is so realistic. <laughs> uh, so I'm now working on the master bathroom and I did include most of this footage because I think that it turns out wonderful. And I did use some little tips and tricks. So like placing that half wall in front of the tub so that you can like put whatever tile you want in front of the tub it's still completely playable, 100% play tested. So there's a little little tip for you guys. You see, you see. Uh, but I really just enjoy the way that this turned out. And right now I do have shelves in the shower area, that walk-in shower area. But eventually I do trade that out for a base game shelving unit. I don't know, I did this in a previous build and I think that it turns out really cute and I think that it matches the style of the build really well. And then I clutter up the uh, counters in the bathroom. And then of course, I'm gonna go back and add more plants because what would an industrial, eclectic, crazy, messy build be without more, more plants and clutter? <laughs> oh my gosh, I had so much fun with this. I really did. Like, it's amazing. I love this build so ridiculously much. Just, I think this build turned out so perfectly. Uh, so I do build like a little like laundry nook area over here and I do end up placing plants in front of the washer and dryer and then some shelves from Laundry Day and that shelving unit from Eco Lifestyle. And I start placing the bed and such and then I use the perfect pedestal. Is that the perfect pedestal? I can't remember what that piece is called, but it's from Spa Day around it so that it looks like a platform. And then out here on the final balcony. <laughs> because this build has three balconies. Uh, I did place like a little artist area with like a mural against the wall here. 
and I think that it, that marquee sign. We'll talk about that in a second. But so I imagine because the people who live here would probably be very like artistic as well. So I wanted to create like a special place for them and the views from up here are amazing. You wait. You wait for these screenshots. My favorite screenshot is this little area that I'm building here, which is super cozy and eclectic and crazy and busy and I love it. There's a screenshot of the sunset so the sky is like all of the beautiful sunset colors and then the moon rising right over the top of this balcony area it's gorgeous san Myshuno has some of the best sunsets and sunrises in the entire game i love it uh, so i wanted to create like this little cozy area like maybe they just come up here to read at the end of a long day whatever because why not? But I really imagine that a lot of this build, like even though it is really crazy, really busy, really filled up with like clutter and messiness and ridiculousness, like there's so many places in this build where I just imagine that you could come in and like plop down and just be comfortable and love your surroundings and such. Uh, I don't know. I really love it. I really do. So uh, the last little bit of this build is where I'm cluttering up around the bedroom. I really love that marquee sign. I don't know why I haven't used it in a build yet, but to use it as a like focal piece over your bed, I love it. I think it turns out so good. Uh, and then I, you know, I add more plants because they're plant parents and they love their plants. I love it. I really love the way all of this turns out. It's just so beautiful. The screenshots are beautiful. I, I want to like actually play in it if I played the game more for more than like five seconds. It's gorgeous. I love it. I can't say that enough. Anyways, so uh, if you have loved this, if you have liked this video, don't forget to give me a big ol' thumbs up to let me know that you loved it. Uh, if you have anything to say, any comments, anything that I should have added or anything that I missed, you can comment down below. And as always, we have more content that will be coming out. Uh, like, you know, the new pack will be coming out soon and I'll be doing a Let's Play soon and maybe a drunk pack review. I don't know, but if you want to see those things, you can always subscribe. And as always, I just want to say, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have like the best day ever. If you were to rank this day one out of a billion, the score is obviously a billion because it's the best day ever. If you are not having the best day, let me know. Comment down below, hit me up on Twitter, and I will do something, say something to make you smile. And as always, I love you and I cannot wait to talk to you again. Bye!